Bishop Sheen today with Alan Smith here on Morning Joy, where truth matters. Welcome back to Morning Joy, where truth matters. Hey, have you ever thought about getting a life coach? I'd recommend one. But on Bishop Sheen today with Alan Smith, we're going to be talking about another kind of life coach and more specifically whom? Good morning, Alan. Good morning, Keith. It's great to be here. It's uh, one of these things where you kind of go, life coach, wow. Um, they're expensive, right? <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, with all things spiritual, of course, Fulton Sheen is going to give us some free advice on how to make the Blessed Virgin Mary our life coach. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think on this beautiful feast of the Ascension, we, we look at the um, fright, I think, of the apostles. Uh, they had a beautiful um, encounter with the Lord, of course, spent three years with him, uh, being coached by our Lord. And, of course, our Lord um, went to be with God. Uh, he died, he rose, but he came back. He came back for another session like to say a session and taught the apostles some more but when he ascended into heaven he was saying i'm leaving for a while i'm going to send you the holy spirit but i'm going to leave you my mother okay and this is the key he left us his mother and so we have this beautiful life coach with us and you know when coaches uh, teach uh, young people how to, you know, play a sport. They'll say, watch the coach. Watch me as I show you how to do this. And Fulton Sheen was very good at um, explaining what Mary did, what we can follow, what we can copy. <laughs> you know, they say, be a copycat. But it's these seven times that we find Our Lady speaking in sacred scripture that we can learn from. And just, just think of the Blessed Mother rallying around the apostles, because she was uh, on the team. But of course, she wanted them to succeed. And she would say, let's have a huddle. Let's have a huddle. Okay, let me teach you this valuable moment. And so, of course, she'd say, this is how you do it. Okay. Now, I'm not going to say that an angel is going to appear to you like the angel appeared to me, but you have to be ready for it. Okay. Be ready for it. Um, this is the spiritual world. And, and I think this is where people forget we're in a spiritual world. Um, there are angels and demons, and yet we have to respond properly. And so Our Lady talks about the encounter mm -hmm. with the angel Gabriel. And she said, it's okay to ask questions. I asked that question of the angel, you know, how could this be? Because I know not God. And then she would take a moment and say, now remember, there's a beauty in not knowing. Okay, when you go out into the world, don't be so curious. <laughs> okay, um, there's a lot of traps for you. Okay, this is your coach talking. Okay, um, there's a beauty in not knowing. Okay, got that? And, and then I thought, coach, thanks for that advice. Because I trouble, I worry. I, I'm so, uh, I, I'm in, I want to be a know it all. And I, I got to, you know, so, and she's there, Ch chill, chill. There's a beauty in not knowing. Okay. Now I'm paraphrasing here, so but I think our listening audience gets it. Mary the coach and us the pupils. And of course we're learning. So, but again, it's Fulton Sheen pointing to scriptures to say, look at Mary, look what she's doing, look at her response. Now imitate her. Yeah. And you know, again, I think of the wedding feast of Cana. Of course, we love that scene where it's a wedding and oh they're running out of wine oh what's going to happen you know coach coach what do i do what do i do well 
you ask the master, you go to Jesus and you say, there's a problem here. Um, and she's saying to you, you're going to go out into the world and you're going to face problems. What are you going to do? Ask the master. Okay, go to Jesus um, and ask him for a favor. I asked him for a favor. And, you know, he, he challenged me. He asked me a few questions. He says, what is that to you and me? <laughs> you know, if my time is not yet, you know. Um, but I wasn't afraid to ask him. And so I asked him and I partnered with him to say, you do what you have to do and I will help you. So that's what I want you to do. Ask Jesus for help and say, thy kingdom come. <laughs> All right. There you go. God, and, you know, thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. <laughs> and, and you can see that. And of course, at the wedding feast of Cana, there was that beautiful lesson where she says, All right, everyone, gather around, gather around. All right. I'm going to say to you what I said to the servants. And listen up, listen up. And she said, do whatever he tells you. <laughs> and, and again, she's saying that to us. Do what Jesus tells you. Um, this is so important. And um, again, that's the life lesson that uh, the best coaches give to their pupils. Uh, do what the Lord tells you. Read the playbook, the Bible, the instruction manual. Read that. Because um, that's going to be your guide. That's going to be your guide. But it's these beautiful opportunities we have to say, yeah, I, I have to humble myself to say I want to be under someone, under their direction. And uh, I know it's difficult for us. Uh, a lot of us don't want to have a coach. We say, I do it myself. I can do this. I, I don't need any help. But yet, Fulton Sheen's saying, you know, we all need a good coach, but especially a good mother. Mm -hmm. And so the Blessed Virgin Mary is both mother and coach. And again, these beautiful examples. Um, you know, we always think of anthems to say, okay, what's going to be our anthem? What can we do? And of course, the Blessed Virgin Mary says, let me give you the first uh, few lines of a beautiful anthem that I want you to sing every day. And of course, it's that beautiful Magnificat. And she says, repeat after me. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit has rejoices in God my Savior. For the Almighty has done great things for me. So now remember that, okay? Repeat after me. <laughs> you know, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Have that playing uh, in your earbuds all day, okay? Yeah. And that will, of course, encourage you. And uh, stay hungry, stay hungry. Some people say stay hungry, some people say stay thirsty. Um, and hear the words of our Lord, I thirst, I thirst. Um, again, these are just a few examples, but let's try to put, put the Blessed Virgin Mary into our lives as a coach. Um, Fulton Sheen, uh, when he talked about the Blessed Virgin Mary, he talked as if she was living with him. He would converse with her every day. He wasn't afraid to say, dear mother, I, I, I've got this problem. Can you help me sort this out? Um, all these things. So can we, can we even try that today? To have that little conversation to say, dear blessed mother, um, I've got a lot on my plate today. Can you shoulder up beside me? Could you coach me uh, in this uh, area? And you'll be amazed what will happen, what will happen. So again, uh, don't be afraid to say, um, who's your life coach? It's the Blessed Virgin Mary. Yes, Jesus is my Lord and Savior, but he gave us her as a great gift to console us, to help us. Again, we go back to the scene of the ascension. Mm -hmm. Our Lord goes up into heaven and uh, it's over. And who are they left with? the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so uh, let's take that away from our celebrations today is that, yes, Jesus is in heaven. It's a great feast, but she's with us. Uh, he's true to his promise. I will not leave you orphaned. He's given us his mother and she is the best life coach we could ever have in our life. So uh, take that to the bank. 
Ah, it's so, so impactful. So we got seven, seven steps. You mentioned number one, don't be curious. Number two, accept God's holy will. Number three, bring Jesus to people. Number four, sing your anthem. Five, be hungry for God. Six, get busy. And number seven, do what he tells you. I love these. And these are all from Venerable, uh, Venerable Fulton Sheen, correct? Is there a specific resource that well, we, you know, the audience can look into for these? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's two books uh, that okay. contain these uh, great, um, you know, I want to say uh, life lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, there is the book called The Seven Words of Jesus and Mary, uh, written in 1945, still available today. Uh, through Bishop Sheen Today Publishing, uh, again, the seven words of Jesus and Mary, and of course, the, the cries of Jesus from the cross, an anthology mm -hmm. available through Sophia Institute Press. Uh, again, these are words of wisdom that we need to read and reread, uh, because again, Our Lady is with us to help us to get to heaven. So uh, again, Fulton Sheen uh, knew that, and he knew, he knew that we needed all the help we could get. So there we go. And he wrote about the Blessed Virgin Mary often. So uh, take that to the bank. Uh, again, the Blessed Virgin Mary as our life coach. Uh, we, maybe we can make some t-shirts up. Uh, yeah, let's let's make some t-shirts up and uh, make make them like the Morning Joy uh, shirts. Uh, merch, we're selling merch. Uh, <laughs> but all jokes aside, uh, we can certainly find more information on all of this regarding uh, what Bishop Sheen has to say, not only for you know the seven kind of life coaching steps that you just mentioned uh alan but also anything related to maybe ascension thursday we can catch at uh, bishop sheen and uh you know we've just finished talking about the holy face miracle so if you're still interested in that holy face miracle.com uh any anything um you know actually uh alan one question before we um end the segment wrap it up uh maybe we'll actually take it on the after show clubhouse but i'm curious to know more on what venerable bishop sheen has to say about the ascension and ascension thursday so we'll we'll keep that up for the uh the after show clubhouse which is another quick reminder that's after the second hour of our show but speaking of after our show tomorrow on morning joy we got Julie Carrick continuing the conversation of how we can live our lives as Catholics in a creative manner. But thanks so much, Alan. But it's the end of our first hour. Love to thank those who are now arriving at the destination, maybe it's school, work, or Holy Mass. If that's the case, thank you for praying for us in advance. Okay. We got a whole nother second hour coming up next, talking to Trevor Thompson as he shares his simple mission and going over his testimony. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. Otherwise, if this is us parting ways, God bless, and of course, make it a joyful day on Morning Joy, where truth matters. We'll see you right after this break. This has been Morning Joy, where truth matters, hosted by Keith Downey. Take some joy with you today. Visit grnonline.com slash joy to listen again, share a segment, or answer the question of the day. That's grnonline.com slash joy.